Do we have a destiny? Is it is your life predetermined? Now, before I start sharing my thoughts and my experiences on this, let me just say that I don't know. Because there's no way I could know if there's a destiny. But I can share my experiences and what I've noticed. And what I've noticed is that there seem to be themes in my life. I seem to be, I seem to have strengths and know how to do certain things, like I'm good with technology, I can express myself through writing, and suddenly in the last few years I've started doing videos. So that seems to be a theme in my life. But I also have themes like health and finances, investing, money, personal development, while other people might have themes around things like relationships or helping kids, nurturing kids, teaching, teaching kids, or working with people who are sick, helping to heal them, working in hospitals, or being a philosopher. So there are many different themes that go on, and it seems like there's a red thread running through my life where it's the same kind of themes from different perspectives, and it's all, it all seems to be leading to something. Now, that could also be just me being delusional and my brain wanting to find patterns in life because it gives me a sense of validation or purpose. But it does feel like it not, it's not just randomness going on because there are themes and there are recurring things happening. And that helps uncover something within me and grow internally, psychologically, spiritually, if you, if you want to use those words. And what I've noticed in my life is that I don't have to push my life in order to live my purpose. Because if there are these themes, then that's going to happen naturally in my life. Because if we look at life, we have these bodies, and these bodies come from the earth, and they are composed of all these different kinds of minerals and whatever you have in a body. But it all, it, it all comes from the earth. Because as a baby is made in the womb, the mother eats food so that it, the, baby has, the body has building blocks to create the baby. And the food comes from the earth. It may come from animals or vegetables or fruit, but it always comes from earth. So we are made from the earth. And that means that we are part of the earth. And if we are part of the earth, that means we are connected to the earth. And if we are connected to the earth, that kind of means that life knows who you are, where you are, your strengths and <clears throat> it knows your DNA, we could say. And if all that comes together, then it means that you have these themes in your life that you're here to experience. And you don't have to try so hard. You don't have to exhaust yourself. You don't have to force yourself. Because I've noticed that when I try to do something that, let's say, I want to be famous or open a... I don't really want to be famous, but let's say a few years ago, like five, six years ago, I was focused on really trying to be successful and trying to force success. And I noticed when I did that, but that I ended up exhausted. And it wasn't a bad thing, because the more I did that, the more exhausted I ended up, the more I realized that I needed to take a step back, that there was a timing to life. And I talk about this a lot in my videos, that there are seasons to life. There's a time to plant the seed, and there's a time to harvest, there's a time to rest. And if I'm trying to push success, or trying to push something before it's time, then I'm simply spinning my wheels. So that's what I feel like as I've lived life and noticed when I work with clients and of the work I do, 
that things happen naturally as we let them happen. So things can be things can come into your life or you can be inspired to do something. But it's always life nudging you to do something. It's almost like we are reactive beings to life, to what goes on, because we get inspirations, we get thoughts, things come to us. People may come to us and ask us questions or recommend that we go here and there, and things kind of happen. And when you start relaxing in life, as I've begun to do, I kind of start viewing my life as I start being a passenger in my life, and I start enjoying what's happening because I have a front seat in my movie and this is what my movie is about. Right now I seem to be sharing this with you in this video and it's something that happens naturally because I tried making videos many years ago and it felt forced. I wasn't really up for it and now it's come back into my life. And I don't know if I'll keep on going, I have to see how it feels. But right now I'm here, I'm talking to you. So, as for destiny, if we're meant to do something spectacular, I don't think everyone is meant to be successful or famous. Not everyone needs to leave a legacy, because some people are simply here to work behind the scenes. Like, you can be a mother, loving your kids, and that may be enough for you. But if you get these ideas of, okay, I should be, I should do something, I should work, I should build a career, or whatever it is, and I'm not saying that that needs to be the case, because some want to build a career. So it's simply about noticing what's, what feels magnetic to you, and not listening to all the shoulds and expectations, because some want to be mothers, some want to be dads, some want to be, some want to build a career, some want to work in a hospital, take care of the sick, some want to be speakers, some want to be writers, some want to be artists. And I guess you could say there is a destiny, because we all resonate with something, and we have themes in our lives. So there is this trajectory to something, but that doesn't mean that you'll be famous or a great success. But what I have noticed is that when you are doing something that you're meant to do, you feel good. And that's what people truly want in the end anyway. You want to feel good, you want to feel fulfilled. That's what I want. And that comes when you're following your purpose, you're living your purpose, you're following what excites you, and doing it in the way that works for you. And that's when you feel fulfilled. So, I don't really like using the word destiny anymore, because it's not about the word destiny, it's not about something being predetermined. It's about you living your life, and following your excitement, your inner GPS, and when you do that, when you align yourself with what you're here to do, you feel good. So follow that good feeling. And I'm not talking about surface pleasure where you're stuffing your face with chocolate, although that's not a bad thing to do, because it's so tasty. But when you're, you feel that deep sense of satisfaction or surprise or peace, within you, that's when you know you're on the right track. So destiny or not, you're here to follow your excitement and feel good and to explore the themes in your life. Sometimes that those, sometimes life brings you struggle and sometimes it brings you joy. You're here to explore all of that. So enjoy your life and enjoy your movie because it's what you're here to experience and see where it takes you, and see what happens. And if you enjoyed this video, you know what to do. Click on all the buttons, and visit my website for more information on how to work with me, more articles and other surprise goodies. And I'll talk to you in another video.